So what's going on YouTube Nation? It's your boy here, Finch, aka Pure Meds, bringing you a very, well, I won't say very small gameplay because it's actually roughly eight, almost nine minutes long. And of course, I'm cutting the game sound because, um, as you guys will notice, I am on PlayStation 3. Um, I will go ahead and say this, that I, the, the Avermedia capture card that I have will not allow me to record uh, the PlayStation 3 and HDMI, so I had to buy um, HD component cables. And I went the cheap route in a way, um, and, and it's really, really, really weird. Uh, when I record it with the HD component cables, uh, when I'm playing, it's perfectly, the, the, the sound uh, feedback is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But when I record, it's the sound's all jacked up. I don't even know what it is. I gotta go back and figure out what's going on with my uh, with my recording settings. It might be in the recording settings, or I don't know yet. But um, it's really funky. Uh, but there's a small gameplay coming you know, for you uh, in this map or in this match. I think I'm like level 35. Uh, I just got PlayStation back. I went ahead and picked up Warfare 3 and Battlefield 3. Um, I'm gonna start uh, getting more games for both systems. Uh, especially uh, splitting an account, uh, spin, splitting a GameFly account with a buddy of mine, who also gave me the Orange Box and Guitar Hero Roll Tour for Christmas. So, uh, thanks a lot for him to be able to, you know, uh, one for splitting an account and two uh, giving me those actual really good gifts and actually great gifts. I love Guitar Hero. I've been a big fan of Guitar Hero since day of. Um, and also being able to fact that I can play Portal One because I automatically jumped into Portal Two when it came out. Um, I could play the first one and figure out what I missed through the storyline. And also being able to play Team Fortress 2 on my Xbox instead of playing it on the computer. Now, I can play it on my computer, but I kind of prefer it on the Xbox a little bit more. But it's kind of 50-50 on either or. Um, but I will go ahead and say that I haven't really been wanting to play a lot of Call of Duty. Uh, due to the fact there are a lot of... I know there's a lot of Christmas noobs out there. But before the Christmas noobs came, in, came into the play... Um, there are a lot of people running around with a striker, and it started to really, really, really tick me off. And this kid there, uh, he camps throughout the whole game, and you'll see me light him up a few good times in a row, and then I think he finally gets the hint to move. Um, also, I'm actually playing with Gene Arley and Real Game at the same time. Uh, we all partied up, and we were playing and stuff like that. Uh, a couple of games that had some lag issue. Uh, I followed Gene Arley's video on how to open your NAT type, but I was still having some connection problems for some reason. But... Uh, overall, we did we did extremely well, uh, parted up and stuff like that. Uh, we just had fun, goofing off, yelling at each other, stuff like that. You know, just being the, the typical us. Um, and then earlier today, uh, me and uh, me and Rogue Game parted up, goofed around, stuff like that. And here's the kid again, demolished. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and say, guys, I really appreciate the fact that I'm still getting video views. I'm still getting um, I'm still getting subscribers and stuff like that. I know my subscriber rate. Um, the, you know, the numbers of people coming to my channel, subscribing to my channel, so I completely slowed down. And I'm very sorry that I haven't uploaded anything in the last, like, what, two weeks now, I think it's been. Um, I just had a lot of work going on. A lot, like, uh, last week I had, like, three days of work in a row. And the day before I started working, I was just com contemplating on if I wanted to even try to play and try to get a gameplay. Or I just wanted to kind of, like, straighten myself out, like, getting my clothes clean and stuff like that or go and going to work. And of course, when I got home from work, I just didn't want to do anything. Uh, but I really appreciate appreciate the fact that I still got guys and girls. Uh, you know, it's it's so cool that I have you guys come into my channel and stuff like that, and still uh, get pooped on. And then I get pooped on. Anyways, you know, still coming to my channel, subscribing to my channel, leaving comments, video, you know, doing the video views and everything like that. Um, now, I have always complained in the past about me, uh, my videos not getting a lot of views, and I never really thought about it. And, and I, I really apologize to people I've raged and stuff like that, too. Uh, I've said a lot of things to Gene Arley about how it's just getting really aggravating that I'm not getting a whole lot of views. And the biggest reason why is my tags. I don't put a lot of tags in there. I might get about five or six in there. And normally when I do my tags, I'm normally just typing in Call of Duty or something like that. I'm not typing in kind of the general idea of what the gameplay is about. Like if I do TDM. I don't type in TDM. I just type in Call of Duty, Call of Duty, uh, Warfare 3, so on. And um, and I noticed that after uploading a couple of guys, uh, some of the, uh, I think it was Chef's video, and, yeah, it was Chef's videos and uh, legit Nick's videos to the team channel, and I was thinking, you know, maybe that could be a hint of why I'm not getting a lot of video views, that I'm not putting a lot of tags. And uh, that guy just totally demolished Gnarly because of a spawn, or camping, his little 
I'm not going to try not to cuss in this video. Um, but yeah, this was a good gameplay. I did pretty well. I don't remember what my KD was. Uh, you'll see it at the end of the game. Uh, I'm still trying to get used to the theater mode in Warfare 3, uh, being in the fact that I can't pull the scoreboard up any time that I want. I have to kind of wait for it, uh, which you'll see it at the end. There's kind of a little pause and stuff like that. Uh, but I, I'm still trying to be a commentator. I'm still trying to bring good videos to the uh, to my channel, to Pure's channel, to the community, and be able to have um, to make friends off of it and stuff like that. It's pretty cool that I've been friends with Real Game for roughly two years now. Uh, he's a good guy. I've been knowing uh, um, gnarly for roughly a year now, and uh, both of the guys are great. They're excellent. They're excellent guys. I love talking to them. I love. I love picking on Gnarly because he's from Canada. I don't have any hatred towards Canada, nor any no downs or anything like that. I always love picking on him. It's just always fun. He knows I'm joking around, and it's always good. And the same thing with Real Game. I can I can say some stuff to him. He doesn't take it to heart. Neither one of them take anything that I say to heart. And it's always cool to be able to just you know screw with each other, and it's just so fun. And um, and I really appreciate. It. And I still appreciate the fact that um, I was op I had an opportunity to come back to Pure and. Now, I'm, I guess you could say I'm channel manager in a way. Um, Real is still, of course, the owner. Um, Gnarly is pretty much back down a little bit. He helped uh, Real Game get the team back up and running, get everything to where it needed to be. And he's pretty much stepping down for uh, pretty much to the channel leader type of thing, like the manager. And it's pretty much left up to me in a way. But he's still going to be there behind the scenes just in case something needs to be done or needs help on and stuff like that, which I really appreciate it. Uh, because I could need help later on. I'm not going to say I will not need help, but I know I will. I mean, there's there's going to be some point in time. Um, so it's still great to be a part of the team. It's so great to be able to be offered, to you know, before the team was fully made, um, for Real Game to say, hey, do you want to be a part of the team? Uh, it was so great to be able to, be able to have him pop up and ask me that question. It's always great to be a part of this team. Uh, be able to meet new commentators, new GFX editors like um, Legit Nick. Uh, he's got some great GFX skills. And he also has some good commentating skills, along with Chef. I'm starting to like. Um, I'm not a big quick scoper. I'm a big sniper person, but in Warfare 3, it's kind of like eek, you can't really snipe too much. But I'm really liking um, uh, the series that he's doing, uh, the Chef's insight on sniping and stuff like that. And with the map pack coming out, it's going to last even more episodes than what it was really anticipated on, because there's only so many maps and the preloaded maps. And now with the map packs coming out on the 24th. Um, I, he, I believe he does have the Elite program, so he's going to have the map pack, so we're going to have extra episodes for that as well. Along with Nick's uh, Secondary of the Week, uh, I'm loving the series. I'm loving both of their series. I'm, I'm not a big, like I said, I'm not a big sniper fan, but I'm loving Chef's videos. And I love the Secondary videos for Nick because it's true that um, the FMG9s were a great gun. Um, for Kimbo's, I'm going to try to get used to the G18. Um, I'm waiting for that video to come out. Uh, he's already got it finished. I'm going to probably watch it. We already have it in the Dropbox and everything like that. Waited to be uploaded for Friday, so stay tuned to that. Um, but yeah, the video is coming down to an end here. Uh, I really appreciate you guys listening and watching my videos, subscribing to my channels, and everything that I've said in the past. Uh, please keep them coming. Share the links to your friends. Subscribe. You know, everything. Um, so peace out, everybody. Please take care. Keep gaming and have fun at it. Take care, everybody. Peace.